Hello everyone, my name is John Inverarity, and I'm here with Bettina and Nana. And we're, we'd like to tell you about a great story that uh, Nana has experienced. And um, I'd like to introduce uh, my guests here first. So, um, hello, uh, Bettina and Nana. Um, uh, say hi. Hello, John. Hello. And, <laughs> and thanks for having us. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, great to do this, uh, this video here. And so, um, just wanted to ask you about um, this, uh, the word emotion code. And uh, originally, how did you hear about me? Well, I, um, through my mom, she has been, uh, she knows you from Michael Losia, and uh, therefore she told me that it could maybe be an, an help for me. Okay, great. Yeah. So Michael Lozier, he's a, a speaker and an author of Law of Attraction and NLP and an upcoming book called Fulfillment Needs. So it's uh, published three books. And Law of Attraction is uh, sold a couple million copies, over two million copies in, in over 30 different languages. And uh, Bettina and Anna have been following Michael for a while. And um, I've been in uh, very good friends with Michael uh, recently and, and yeah that's how they found me so um, what I practice is the emotion code and the body code so uh, Nana what did you hear about the emotion code and the body code that thought it could help you well I, uh, I spoke with my mom about it and um, and I've tried a lot of hypnosis and stuff like that but that didn't really help me and then I heard that this emotion code could um, remove Yes, it could remove some uh, blocks, some, some blocks <laughs> that you can have uh, on your emotions and through them. Yeah, in your uh, nervous system. Yeah, yeah. In, in the nervous system and um, through earlier experiences that you could have built up some, some bad emotions and bad memories. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, good, good. So, and you were really interested in uh, applying this to uh, your... Uh, competitive uh, figure skating mm -hmm. so, um, how long have you been figure skating for well I since I was uh, nine so 11 years yeah 11 years. <laughs> right. great so and competitively like in competitions have you been doing that since uh, it's for for six years uh, so, seven years seven, I think. seven years yeah, you yeah. started when you were 13 oh okay in, well yeah in seven years <laughs> yeah Okay, great, yeah. So, um, yeah, so you two are in Denmark, is that correct? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right, and I'm in Vancouver, Canada. And uh, so we did the sessions over Skype, and uh, we can do Skype or phone, and I work with people all over the world. And um, so how many sessions did we have together? Uh, we had three sessions of 30 minutes, I think. Right, yeah, great. So three sessions over Skype. Mm -hmm. You're in Denmark, I'm in Vancouver. Yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, what did you notice? And um, did you feel any difference? Well, I could feel that um, I got more relaxed uh, with my practice. And when I was thinking about the competitions, I felt more comfortable within myself and knew that it would be all right. Okay. So, so before the sessions, um, how did you feel about competition? Well, I was very <laughs> anxious oh <my>. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I feel very bad. I didn't really want to go to practice and I felt like, yeah, like everything was just going to fall apart <laughs> because, yeah, I felt yeah. so... You was extremely nervous yes, very before nervous. Uh, she had to enter the ice. Mm -hmm. And sometimes so nervous that she forgot the program that she was supposed to, mm -hmm. to do. To do. Mm -hmm. So so she couldn't remember to do the things, even though it almost every time it worked out in practice. But as soon as she entered the ice for a competition, everything fell apart. Yeah. So, and you got very, very angry with yourself every time. Yeah. Yeah. Because I knew that I, I, I could do it, but... As soon as I got to the competition, it was like a black, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. blackout, really. a blackout, yeah, yeah really. <laughs> right, yeah. So, a lot of anger, frustration, a lot of mistakes, 
and just didn't really want to be there. And yeah, yeah, really affecting um, your personal life. I'm, I'm sure you were pretty upset for mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know after the competitions and even going into them as well, right? Yeah. So yeah, we did three sessions, and what was the outcome? Uh, at the end of of the three sessions. Yeah. Okay. So like your <laughs> your next competition after we had this. Yeah or your first competition after we had the three sessions, there was a, you know, a few weeks in between the last session and your, your competitions. So tell us about that and how that went. Well, that went uh, very well. I uh, got on the ice and I felt much better. Um, I remembered my program and did a good job. My coach was happy, I was happy, my mom was happy. And I actually ended up um, winning a gold medal. So that was very good. <laughs> For the first time ever. Yes. Yeah. It's the first time ever. The first I time ever winning a gold medal. How awesome yeah. is that? <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you originally told me, I almost uh, couldn't believe it, but uh, I I do. Obviously, I do. Um, we have pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can send you some pictures. <laughs> Which yeah. is actually on the, you know, on the three, uh, yeah, on the first place and with the medal yeah. and on the, the podium. And everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a goal for almost every athlete is to get on that podium and yeah. for you to reach that. That's um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah. congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what else have you tried uh, for this, um, this problem that you had, the original problem of being um, really anxious and, and forgetting? program well I've tried um, some meditation I've tried hypnosis I've tried talking to my mom and my girlfriends I talked to my coach I have even tried uh, in practice having some of my friends there watching me during the program to make it more an everyday thing but it just didn't really work out so I was I was really happy that that this could could help me Oh yeah, absolutely. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Did, really. did any other aspects of your life change, like personal things, maybe at school or at work or um, with mom and dad or friends? Uh, only for the better. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, um, I've had some other emotion code sessions, um, and through that, I experienced that it it that everything changes. It's um. I don't know. It's it's like something just goes away from your chest. It's it's like a stone removed from from your chest and your shoulders that you can you can breathe and you can feel comfortable mm -hmm. and you know knowing that that there's not this stress and the pressure and the pressure. Yeah, yeah. you were so relaxed this time. Yeah, for the competition, yeah. no pressure at all. She was wow. just enjoying. Yeah, much. <laughs> Wonderful. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, I guess my last question here, uh, would you recommend my service for other athletes? Yes, definitely, definitely. It was uh, a big help. I don't know if it, I don't think it could have happened without this, this help that, no. that I could feel so comfortable and, and good with my program and, and yeah, and at the competitions. Usually I go with uh, Nana every time she attends a competition because that's all over Denmark, so. I go along <laughs> and I've never ever seen her this relaxed as she was this time and she was really enjoying mm -hmm. skating and which she loves and enjoys so much but it's it had become some kind of a a pain when she had to go to competitions mm -hmm. because it became so stressful for her because there were some so many blockages building up built up inside her so so it's it's a great relief yes. for, for mom as well because <laughs> less feisty now. <laughs> less feisty. Wow. Okay. So it's helping mom. <laughs> no, not mom, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Relationship between you two. Is oh well. yes. 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 Much, much yeah. better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, the car home. 
the, uh, the car ride home from the competition is yeah is, yes. uh, is much better <laughs> now we can talk about it you know yeah. and, uh, and earlier yeah. it was just just leave me alone i don't i don't want to talk about it so. <laughs> yeah but of course yeah it's, it's yeah. better so Great. yeah wonderful it's, okay it's so almost you... like magic it's almost like magic it is many miracles yes. yeah yeah miracles yeah, i work with people all over the world every day and this work is nothing short of, of miracles, uh, or magic. Um, it is. It is, yeah. So yeah, we're talking about the emotion code here. It was uh, created by Dr. Bradley Nelson. He's a chiropractor down in the United States. And it's a book and a technique. This is the book right here, the emotion code. Highly recommend that everyone uh, reads it. And if you're an athlete uh, struggling in competition, uh, definitely book some sessions. I'd love to help you. So yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you and do this today, Nana and Bettina. Uh, it's, yeah, wonderful. I'm so happy for you, Nana. <laughs> so are we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are we? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone.